City should uh, should have just taken a point deduction and a season out of Europe, maybe a transfer ban years ago. Why drag it out? Maybe for Pep uh, to leave first. Well, what is interesting, I wanted to bring this great super chat. What, what I, what, we've obviously seen Pep, the situation, is he going to stay or go? Uh, Carl Dune has come out today saying we're hoping to come to a resolution. We've also seen Haaland questioned, and he has basically said that he has two, he's had two fantastic years. He's got three years left. What else can I say? When he was asked about extending his stay at City, he then says, some of the, 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 the journalist then says, are there ongoing talks to stay at City? He said, that's all I can say, what I just said. You've got KDB flirting with Saudi. You've got Walker coming to the end. Do you think potentially the players are looking at the situation, the manager are looking at it and saying, I don't want to commit to City until I know what the future looks like? This is beautiful. This is beautiful. You know, if this goes, Arsenal fans, United fans in the chat, Chelsea, I'm not going to include you because you've been sucking up City for the last five years. But the other three, listen, guys, you get me? This could go exactly as planned. If this goes to the shits, Kevin De Bruyne goes to Saudi Arabia, Erling Haaland leaves. It's, it's, it's basically Phil Foden, a bunch of scrubs with Manchester City. And they're back to irrelevance, back to being in mid-table. Suddenly you'll see City fan channels working with Crystal Palace, talking about their El Clasicos and shit with Crystal Palace. It's going to be a thing of beauty. Eddie had to go back to being empty again. It's going to be unbelievable, honestly. You can finally see big clubs competing. You know, me and Terry bantering each other about actual competition. Guys, it will be so beautiful. It will be so beautiful to be a thing of beauty. I cannot wait. And by the way, I want to say this. I'm actually going to defend Someone Erling Haaland to compete here. When City one second, one second. Well, let me defend Erling Haaland. Their level. Yeah. Let, me, let, me, let, me, let me defend Erling Haaland here. Why the hell would Erling Haaland commit to Manchester City anyway? I don't care if Alfie played for City. I don't care if his mom and dad played for City. I don't care if his brother played for City. No one could convince me that over the last... 20 years, you know, people have grown up supporting Manchester City. You guys are so full of shit, bro. There is no emotional connection to Manchester City whatsoever. I promise you there is no emotional connection. I don't doubt. I don't doubt that the likes of LB and Martin and these guys, there's emotional connections, you know. They're born and bred and stuff like that. I know the news that, that Terry just wrote. Is it the one with uh, red? Is it the one with the EFL? It's going to deprive the EFL of 900 million. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, but That's the one you just but, but, yeah, but I didn't I didn't want to say anything bro. No, but so yeah, I didn't it, want to it, say it either. I read it no, about like 10 minutes. So I didn't want to say same, anything, bro. Same. No, no, so so I I know, I, I know but there's a there's a snippet. Someone sent me a snip from it. I'm gonna put this up on the screen. This is cray cray. If this is true, oh, I wish I beg. Listen, the Premier League wants to make some money back for its legal fees. Please televise televise this court case. Do you know how much money they'd make? Oh, yeah, yeah. You charge everybody five pounds to watch this a day, a day to watch this court case, and people are tuning in. Oh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this up on the screen for you. Now, this is from the Times. Now, people have got their own opinion on the Times. Uh, some people will, will like it, some people will dis discredit it. But this is what the Times have said in their most recent article, which talks about a 900 million pound deal that was done with the EFL now maybe off because of this. They state. They also point to the fact that City were initially in favour of the sponsorship rules. According to a document seen by the Times newspaper, City were amongst 19 clubs who approved the 17 recommendations set out in the new ATP rules on November the 11th, 2021. The one abstention was Newcastle United, who had been subject to a recent Saudi-led takeover. In the meeting that followed on December 4th, however, both City and Newcastle voted against the new rules uh, with the other 18 in favour. So City were initially for the rules. They changed their mind a few weeks later as an example. I would love to understand. Again, this is what I mean. I'm not. What's QPT, by the way, just so I that's understand. That's the anti. That's the uh, associated that's the parties. Law, the, law, the law. The law. The associated parties uh, transactions. Oh, so you're, oh, okay, 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 okay. That's what this is about. So, I mean, what's interesting? Look, City have changed their minds. They, they, City definitely voted against it, but again, in court, they're going to say why they did. 
does that marry up with what they said in the meetings? Have they said in the meetings we're we're not we're abstain we're we're voting against it? We believe this is unlawful. If they, I, I, this, I'm so intrigued now to see what it is they've got to say, why they changed their mind, and does it marry up now with what they're accusing the Premier League of being unlawful? You know, if they and what has changed between in that month period? intriguing intriguing to say the least it really really and it's, again part of me if i ring fence myself as a man united fan away from this I, i'm actually quite enjoying this it's amazing not because it's shitty i just love this sort of stuff because it's sort of no one's been hurt does that make sense there isn't anything sinister going on here involving women or children or anything crazy uh chelsea get punished uh for owners breaking laws roman and clear lake but city think they can do whatever they want this will have consequences. Do you know the difference being, though, my friend? The difference being is that Chelsea have just accepted their fate in the past and what they've done now to a degree. No one's really fought the Premier League like this. And that's because, actually, this is why it's funny when people talk about the money. No one has ever had the money that Man City have got to be able to fight back in this way. So it becomes an interesting conversation. And listen, let's be clear about this. There is no Premier League cartel. If you go back to the 1940s, 1960s, definitely that isn't. That you go to the 80s, you go to the 2000s. Nobody would ever have predicted that there would be essentially state-owned football clubs that have access that have access to unlimited money. So for those reasons, new rules get introduced because of the potential pitfalls that could happen. So people talk about like this rule never used to exist. Nobody ever thought that people were 400 billion pound with own football clubs because they typically all used to be owned by a relatively wealthy person from that town or city they were based in. And that's how it was for over a hundred years. So uh, I, I think we've just got to be a little bit more mindful about the history of football and why things change. Uh, your response prompted another comment. Uh, the EPL uh, is getting ahead of itself. Uh, it is not their job to have an opinion on financial matters. It will be the EPL's undoing. Leave this to third parties. But well, they can't. Really, it's not the Premier League's business when Man City compete in the Premier League. That's so weird. The, it's Man got City to be the... literally compete Sorry. in the league that you want to have no opinion on this matter. You're you're basically acting like it's La Liga that has an opinion on Man City. La Liga don't have an opinion on Man City. It's the Premier League, bro. It's also, the same thing they're competing in. Also, Al, your first point actually sort of counteracts what Man City are claiming in the suing. They're saying that why should we have to answer to a third party? So if they don't answer to a third party, they don't answer to the Premier League. That means there's no rules. That means there's anarchy. We can't allow anarchy to overtake the Premier League. Uh, City is the fat kid with a bucket of candy complaining that he can't eat all the candy because the, the because the shopkeeper is a tyrant. <laughs> uh, not sure what makes Hamza happier. Liverpool winning, United Who's losing, Tom? or City Daddy? maybe getting Who's Tom? Who's Did I say Tom? Hamza? Mate, it's, it's my dyslexia. It's Who's gone. Tom? It's gone. You're just Hamza forever now. It's going to happen. No, no, I'm not Hamza. I'm not bald. <laughs> <laughs> Which one makes you happier? City getting relegated, Liverpool winning, or United losing? Listen, everyone knows I hate Man United like no other. I've already experienced Liverpool winning. I've already experienced United losing. I, I just want to say one thing. I know Terry, even himself, wouldn't mind me saying this. If Manchester City get relegated, the biggest party on YouTube will be with Hussam. I'm going to get a bucket of fried chicken. I'm going to go get some cigars. I'm going to do a 12-hour stream celebrating the shit out of it. It will be a call-in show. It's a party. Everyone's invited regardless who you support. I'm going to enjoy that shit. I'll be honest with you. Breaking news. Breaking news yeah. has just come out. Lance Armstrong is suing the Tour de France for banning performance-enhancing drugs. Um, more, more to come on that. Uh, more to come on that. As, as uh, Louis, Louis Armstrong is suing. So Louis, uh, Louis Armstrong, the singer, Lance Armstrong is in the Tour de France. Uh, look, we want to get your opinions and views on this. As I said, look, I'll remain very balanced, as I've always said. Another reason why I'm looking forward to this is I want it to make sense. City could be the innocent party in all of this. I am very open-minded about that and have been from the start, but we need answers. And we're going to start getting them very, very soon in D. That was a joke, by the way, people. Uh, it wasn't real. Lance Armstrong is not doing it. Louis Armstrong's definitely not suing the Tour de France.